everybody. My name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. And we're the Yahoo and the Tour YouTube channel. And we know your time is important and invaluable. And so we thank you guys very much for tuning in. We're actually doing this the same day we're doing it, which is a lot more fun for us because we're kind of living the moment with you guys. And we are very appreciative of all the family that we have out there, everybody who is tuned into this and that is seeking the laws, statutes, and commands of our Creator. Yesterday we went over the first 50 of the laws of Yah, and we are just about to read, uh, where are we supposed to read, guys? Exodus 37. Exodus 37. Okay, so, uh, gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Good. 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 How's everything? Today's first day. Yep. Your Shabbat. How did your Shabbat go, Jake? Good. It was restful. It was uh, peaceful. Yeah, minus the dogs doing some weird things that would just happen, I guess, in, in a pack of things. Eli, how's your day going? Good. What are you working on today? Flour. Sifting flour. Yeah, because we are not going to eat the bugs. Shout out to Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you know, uh, Schwab. Uh, what is his name? Klaus Schwab. Yeah, the, guy, the Darth Vader guy. Yeah, he's trying to get everyone to eat bugs, and so we're not going to do it. All right, so here we go. We are going into this, and let's get down with it. Let's bring in our handy-dandy split screen. As that thing populates there, let's go. And it didn't do it right. Yeah, it did. There it is. All right, so there we go. Okay, so let's begin. Exodus 37. And it doesn't look like my sephir is exactly set up, so hang tight as this goes. It was, but it reset. No, I don't believe so. Maybe. All right, Exodus 37 doesn't reset that quick. Either. Okay, here we go. And Betzalel made the ark of Chittim wood. Two cubits and a half was the length of it, and a cubit and a half the breadth of it, and a cubit and a half of the height of it. Okay, so prior to this, we have what? What have we just do in the last few chapters? We're basically making the temple where they throw up all the so, boards, they throw up all the sockets. And so like make... four or five chapters ago, we got the designs for everything. Then we designed what? The tent of appointment. The tent of appointment. Then and they gave us the designs for the temple and the temple, altar. And then we just built the tent of appointment. And now we are actually building the ark. Okay. And he overlaid it with pure gold within and without and made a crown of gold to it round about. And he cast for it four rings of gold to be set by the four corners of it, even two rings upon the one side of it and two rings upon the other side of it. And he made staves of chittim wood and overlaid them with gold. Staves are just the poles. And he put the staves into the rings by the sides of the ark to bear the ark. And he made the mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half was the length thereof and one cubit and a half the breadth thereof. That's now, gotta be heavy. what is the mercy seat? The lid of atonement. Basically, the, the lid that goes on top of the Why ark. Why would we call the mercy seat? I have no idea. I don't know. The lid of atonement sounds a lot more... Uh, Did you guys say mercy seat? Mine no. says lid of atonement. Yours says lid of atonement? Lid of, it's a lid. It's lid of atonement. This one says the mercy or the uh, mercy, yeah, mercy seat. seat. Okay, so we have different translations on this. So basically, it's, it's the top. It's the lid. Lid of the ark. Yeah, of the ark. Okay, one care of on the... One uh, one carob on the end of on this side and another carob on the other end on that side. Out of the mercy seat made he the carobum on the two ends thereof. That was a very difficult sentence to read. And the carobum spread out their wings on high and covered with their wings over the mercy seat with their faces one to another, even to the mercy seat, mercy seat word were the faces of the carobum. So what do we have here? We have two two basically have like angels two looking angels, at each other. Yeah, with their wings spread out, looking at each other. Yep, and so their wings are over the top of it. So basically, and Yah says he will come between that. Okay. Um, is it? Did I okay. It? okay. And he made the table of chitim wood. Two cubits was the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And he overlaid it with pure gold, and made thereunto a crown of gold round about. Also he made thereunto a border of a hand breadth round about, and made a crown of gold for the border thereof round about. And he cast for it four rings of gold, and put the rings upon the four corners that were in the four feet thereof. Over against the border were the rings, the places for the staves to bear the table. And he made the staves of chittim wood, and overlaid them with gold to bear the table. And he made the vessels which were upon the table, his dishes, and his spoons, and his bowls and his covers to cover with all of pure gold. It's all gold. And he made the menorah of pure gold, 
of beaten work made he the menorah. His shaft, his branch, his bowls, his knops, and his flowers were of the same. What did you guys say for knops? Knobs. Knobs? Yeah, with a B. With a B. B. Knobs. Okay. So knobs and knobs. Yeah, yeah like so there's flowers going up the menorah. I think this is the buds of the flower, I think. It's like a, At the very it's, top? Yeah, I think it's like a... Well, there's, there's bowls at the top, and we have a giant one. I don't think that is the actual real one. Um, that doesn't look right um, so compared the to this NIV description. It says buds. Buds, right? So, blossom, blossom. So it's like buds. a bunch of like I think it's like a flower pattern, and some are uh, some have like buds, and some are actually flowers. So it's supposed to look like a flower candle thing, or like something. a vine of flowers or something vine around flower, it, yeah, wrapped up around it. That's probably right. Um, okay, and six branches going out uh, the sides thereof, three branches of the menorah out of the one side thereof, and three branches of the menorah out of the other side thereof. Three bowls made after the fashion of almonds in one branch, a knop and a flower, and three bowls made like almonds in another branch, a knop and a flower, so throughout the six branches going out of the menorah. And in the menorah were four bowls made like almonds, his knops and his flowers, and a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same. I just read that again. It's the same, same. And a knop under two branches of the same. I read it again. According to six branches going out of it. Okay. So we had uh, basically two branches of the same. Two branches. Two branches of the same. So I think like two, 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 four, six. It's like two on the outside, two in the middle, and two on the other it, side. Yeah, it's, it's strange. You didn't, they didn't just put it like six branches all the same. Leave it to Hebrew writing. I don't know. Their knops and their branches were of the same. Okay. All of it was beaten work of pure gold. And he made his seven lamps and his snuffers and his snuff dishes of pure gold. Now, this is a good thing for you guys because you guys, what is a snuffer? I don't know. Mine says snuffer too, so I have no idea. Uh, I think it's like. Up here it says uh, uh, wick trimmers and trays. Wick trimmers and trays. Snuffer, like, like a sniffer? No, that's, not, like... that's, not, that's, a, that's a sniffer, not a snuffer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so a snuffer, a snuff dish, I, I know that back in the day they used to, I, I guess they used to. Um, the old people, you, they used to, to like smoke snuff or something. It was like tobacco or something. And they have they had snuff dishes and they had snuffers. Like a, like it's like something. It's like almost like an ashtray or something to put out fire with or something of the sort. So I, I think it's like a cap that goes over the top of the wick. Okay. That puts it out. Okay. And so the NIV says then it's made of seven lamps as well as this wick trimmers and trays of pure gold. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be like an ashtray or something of sort on one of those. I mean, because it says uh, uh, trays. Anyway, I, I don't know. Of a talent of pure gold made he it, and all the vessels thereof. And he made the incense altar of chittim wood. The length of it was a cubit, and the breadth of it a cubit. It was four square, and two cubits was the height of it. The horns thereof were the same, were of the same. And he overlaid it with pure gold, both the top of it and the sides thereof, round about, and the horns of it. Also, he made unto it a crown of gold round about. So, Nicole has us a snuffer thing here that she's looking at. What is that? Is this a biblical snuffer? I don't know if it's a biblical one, but I just looked at uh, It looks like uh, some sort of a... It's like yeah. got a handle and then like a thing you stick over a candle on top. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll make the snuffer as the logo or something. Um, okay, there it is. Yeah, so it is a uh, like a little cone thing with a rod that you put over the candle to put the candle out. Okay, that's what that's probably what that is. We'll make that a thumbnail. You should probably make that a thumbnail. So people okay. understand. Yeah, something like that. Okay, yep. So that's it. Of course, you guys can't see it, but I think you'll see it on the thumbnail. Okay, and um, am I twenty six? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. And he made two rings of gold for it under the crown thereof. By the two corners of it, upon the two sides thereof, to be places for the staves to bear it withal. And he made the staves of chittim wood, and overlaid them with gold. And he made the holy anointing oil, and the pure incense of sweet spices, according to the work of the apothecary. So that apothecary, I guess, is... Perfumer. 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 Right. Okay, any commandments, gentlemen? No, not a lot to get out of this chapter, just more... Uh, more knowing knowledge of uh, what was built and how it was built, and there's a lot of gold in that. So yeah, and how they put their candles out with a snuffer. Now we know. They didn't just like blow out like. They, yeah, like, no, they just over it, like yeah. fancy or something. So they didn't like blow stuff all over uh, Yah's temple or yeah, something. Yeah, it's supposed like, to be like Kadesh. They messed that one up. They could probably really destroy some. Yeah, probably blow fire somewhere or something. You know, the candles are dangerous. Fire eats them. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, so that is good. Is anybody have anything? Let's. Uh, anybody have anything? 
Um, not much today. Um, it might be boring. Revivals. Yeah, it's yeah. A, you know, kind of a little bit of a dry chapter. There's nothing to like, get out of a lot of them, but maybe uh, one day we'll be making this. So be cool looking at the blueprints of these. Um, yeah, not, nothing, not a lot here today. Okay, so thank you guys very, very much to our family out there. We really, really, truly appreciate you and much love to everybody. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. See ya. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.